Hello everyone. Today I will teach you how to make a water reflection in Photoshop. So I have selected this picture and we will put the water reflection and the ripple effects in this one. Let's go to the marquee tool or press M from your keyboard to select the image you want to reflect. So I want to reflect from here. So copy this and then paste it. So you will see that a new layer is created over here. Just click on this image, press Ctrl T from your keyboard, right click and then flip vertical. So this image is now flip to vertical. Just move it down. And just make sure the edges are correct and the image is centered align. So let me extend my artboard until here. Now convert this. First of all, rename this layer to reflection right click on it and convert it to smart object so in case you put some effect you want to change it so you can change it easily go to your filter go to blur and put surface blur so make sure the value is very less over here like i will go with five and five and then click ok then again go to the filter blur and then motion blur so here please make sure the angle is 90 and the distance is the minimum distance keep it there 8 now create a new file go to file new and height is 1000 and width is 500 so just make sure your height is double than your width in this case and the background should be black and then create this is your background layer just click on it and convert it to the layer now we need to put some noise on this layer just go to filter go to noise add noise as let's uh, select the no make it go to with maximum options uniform and then uh, you have to select these options see this if you not select is quite colorful so you have to select the monochromatic and then click ok once again you have to go to the filter blur and this time you have to check, uh, select the Gaussian blur and keep your noise getting blurred keep your value minimum like I will go with 1.3 that's enough press ok again we have to put couple of more effects on this layer so now go to the channels so you will see that one rgb red green and below so again is uh, you can see this red green and below see if i click the red green and below you do not see a big difference over here so let's go step by step we will put some effects on red layer we will put few effects on green layers and we do not need to put anything on below layer just let's go to the red layer Go to the filter, stylize, emboss, and go to 180 for this one. Height is no, it's so too much. Just stick with the one or two. No, one is okay. And 
now is getting very much uh, is not so much imposed go to with maximum option click ok now see the difference see now we need to play with the green layer again go to the filters go to the stylize emboss for green for red we put the effects horizontally but for green we have to put for vertically for that you have to select 90 height again i will use yeah, the same thing so height select one and amount is maximum 500 click ok so these are the effects we put over there we do not want to put any effects because we want we want to keep it one layer as a normal layer one we put effects vertically and on red we put the horizontally so let's see what happened now go back to your layer select your layer transform it uh, uh, okay what happened yes i can do it now okay make it further zoom out Control T, right select and perspective because we want to make the perspective correct. Press the shift key from your keyboard so both sides will be equally extended. Just extend the maximum level and press enter and then, then zoom in. See the effects. So I'm sure you have pretty much idea what we are going to do now. Just save this file. So I already have this file let me overwrite it so let me save it let's go back to your main file and see how we import or we have how, uh, the, the ripple files in this one so we have to displace it now make sure your reflection layer is selected go to filter go to distort displace and um, here we can uh, try a couple of options for better understanding let's go with 10 and 10 first make sure the stretch to fit is selected we want to play with the edges only repeat edge pixels and embed file data in smart object of course this is the smart layer so okay so water ripple select the files you made see that uh, is not so much so might be we need to put little more so let me click on this displays file might be I will go instead of 10 maybe 15 or 13 I will go scale 12 and let's see what happen so this is the benefit of to keep your layer as a smart object see yes it's, it's little better so see this what happened now now you can play further so just to make it as a real like the touch so you can put a couple of other effects so let me create one more layer over there and let me play around with just make sure your foreground is white and this one and this was the area even you can have a choice to keep it you can draw the guideline yes it's exactly the same and create it with that way but still we need to move a little bit down that is better and just make it to multiple so let me remove this and uh, let me decrease the opacity how much I can yeah that is better 14 so again create one more layer from here and now we need to go with this gradient effects select multiple mm -hmm. okay and decrease this one okay. 
yes this one so again we can play further create one more layer over there and select your brush tool just to make it a little further uh, yes see this so it looks almost real now thank you very much for watching this tutorial